Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to hop into your spiritual insights, but if you are new here, welcome to the community. If you are returning, welcome back, guys. Always love to have you here. Leo, I'm feeling um, some of you may be passing a test or something. Not sure how that's showing up for you, so not sure what exam or whatever. It could be an exam for school or it could just be a, t a spiritual test. Not sure how it shows up, okay? Spirit is asking you to be a little bit more patient around something or just in general, okay? I'm also feeling like some of you may be making a big purchase and it feels like a home for some of you. You've been you've been focused on um, reaching a goal and for some of you, it is purchasing a home. So it's your time, Leo, and congratulations for those of you that are purchasing a home or you're just part or you're making a, a huge accomplishment. I can't even speak an accomplishment, okay? Um, I'm also feeling, I'm feeling a grandmother, a mother, or a guardian of some sort, someone who's like a mother figure to you. You're either connecting with them physically or telepathically if they have transitioned into the other world. Um, they're, they're, they're wishing you well is what I'm hearing. They're wishing you well. And it feels like... Um, Part of the reason for you reaching this big accomplishment that you're headed towards, they've orchestrated something, okay? Whether they're, they've helped you financially, like in the physical world, or if they have transitioned already, if you know who this person is, I feel like they've orchestrated and they've made, they just made things happen for in order for this door to open up for you, which is a beautiful thing, which lets me know you have some very powerful beings, angels that are around you watching over you, okay? Um, let's see what else is coming up. Um, those of you who have been receiving, um, the support of your loved ones, your guardian is, is proud of you. So they're wishing you well wishes. They're proud of you. And those of you that have been feeling the presence of a loved one, know that they have your back. Okay. Uh, some names that came up, Luis, Luisa, Luisa, Andrea. Um, or Andrea, Willie, and Steven are some of the names I'm picking up on. Um, I'm hearing for you to listen, and maybe you know what that means for you. I don't know. I'm just the messenger, so I'm hearing listen. And your last message, your last spirit message um, is you're on the right track. So if you have been needing to, you needing a little confirmation, spirit is letting you know you are on the right track. Your universal message here is start where you are, Leo. Start where you are. This card reads, the great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone, okay? Start where you are, Leo. And I pulled uh, an angel number for you, but three of them flew out of the deck. So we'll we'll skip through these rather quickly. The, we have 0440 zero zero if you're seeing this or seeing 440 on the clock. This is about a gut feeling, your intuition, betrayal, pessim, uh, betrayal, pessimism, relating value, insight, increased perception, love, and monogamy. Okay, so follow your gut. It's more than just a feeling. Be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships. Remember, you also must bring value to the table. Treat others with respect or else karma will bite you in your ass. Three is a crowd, okay? So if you're having a gut feeling about something or someone, this is your confirmation. We pull 6666, which is great blessings. It's about self-love, boundaries, needs, good vibes, wisdom, understanding, and letting go. Nurture yourself, Leo, your needs, desires, and boundaries, and let go of things that are weighing on you, are weighing you down. Make space for something mean, meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life. That big love opportunity or job needs to squeeze in somewhere, okay? So great blessings are on the way if you're seeing 6666 and how synchronistic 7777, which is about persever perseverance. Change of perspective, reflection, inner strength, wisdom, and enlightenment. There's a need for a change, Leo, of perspective on whatever has taken over you. If you want to succeed, you need to keep going down the road you're on. Remember, I just said, spirit confirmed, you're on the right track. 
reach for the wisdom within and then you'll just know what the right next step is okay so those are your angel numbers I put these two here so we remember to look at those here and we pulled forgiving and learning okay so whatever it is that you're going through okay Leo forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay so some of you have been through something with someone um, but it is time for you to forgive and learn and also live love and learn okay some of you may be filing <laughs> divorce papers or you may just be ending something with someone you may be ending a job a relationship a friendship it doesn't matter um, but specifically for some of you you may be filing papers divorce or separation in the near future but spirit is reminding you to bring love into this situation new moon and aquarius energy here so whatever this is bring love into the situation especially when it comes to you loving yourself first is the most important thing forgiving yourself learning starting where you are okay trusting your gut feeling persevering through this because you have great blessings that are coming through for you leo this is the second time i have forgot to shuffle my cards um, off camera so let me just give this a couple shuffles so i'm going to pull your clear your uh tarot cards and we're going to clarify each of these for you Okay, so we have, I'm sorry, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip these one more time and one shuffle. That's what I'm feeling. So I'm honoring my feelings. I'm honoring my gut feelings, okay? <laughs> All right, so we have, we have the Page of Cups reversed. We have the Page of Wands reversed. We have the Page of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Five of Wands. Oh, what is happening? The Knight of Swords. The Temperance. And the King of Swords. So we only have one major arcana out of seven cards here. So we'll see what's coming up for you, my dears. We're starting out with that Page of Cups that is coming up for you reversed interesting okay so most recently you know maybe you've been feeling this energy or um, embodying this energy or this could be someone around you it doesn't matter but it's a it's a it's a card of being irresponsible maybe even impulsive okay and sometimes you know Leo your fire sign sometimes that happens and that happens to a lot of us as well but this could be um, a card of naivety as well being too idealistic and lacking creativity so there has been something that has set you back or has set you back in the past and some of you may still be in this energy of emotional instability or feel like bad things or bad news is coming is has been in your life here um, let's see what's coming up this is Scorpio energy all right one more All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Okay, we already have the Five of Swords out here. So it feels like there may be a little disruption when it comes to your money, a little disruption when it comes to you caring for yourself. I feel like you may be investing a lot of time and energy into something else. Um, again, impulsive energy that is coming up for me um, right here. But it definitely feels like there's some sort of blockage and maybe there's some sort of disconnect between you and someone. Some of you may even be disconnected from a mother. I know I got a motherly energy that came up in the, in the spiritual insights. So some of you may be had or may have recently had an issue or a, an argument or disagreement or something with someone like a motherly figure or someone that you just look up to, the queen, that queen of pinnacles here or you could have had some sort of dispute with people or someone a bank it doesn't matter around your money okay <laughs> so it, it, it almost feels like somebody with somebody holding on to something or were you spending 
frivolously like you're just you know handing things out and now you know you're looking for your money to come back and it's not you know in this moment of people not paying you back you're giving out loans and people are not paying you back but it feels like a it could be different scenarios here too but it definitely feels like some sort of conflict between you and someone or multiple people and you may have had to turn your back or someone that, or people have turned their back to you in some sort of way where it, it definitely feels like it's just it's it has left you in this place of feeling instability inst instable okay or just I don't know maybe you've had most recently or just it has been your life where you've had unrealistic expectations of people because maybe they're probably really showing you who they are initially but maybe you have you're being too idealistic where you're painting the, this picture of who you think they are but they're really showing you who they are okay so most recently it feels like Leo you've been in something I'm uh, I'm hearing ditch like some of you have gotten have been ditched or you ditched someone but it feels like someone is you know tugging it's a tug of war it may be a tug of war for some of you but definitely feels like they may have something to do around something that's important to you which could be your your money your heart it doesn't matter your family your mother it doesn't matter but it definitely has been some conflict most recently what's happening uh, overall for you during this month we have the uh, page of wands that is coming out reverse so interesting so page of cups page of wands but still page energy here which um, this feels like you you may be feeling this sense of um, lacking your lack in creativity and innovation and, and you may be curious about other things um, some of you may have a fear of being uh, afraid to explore different things, different avenues due to what has happened to you most recently. So it may be some blockages that could be coming up for you and you may be seeing a slow progress. OK, because usually when that is upright, there's a lot of energy that is coming up, a lot of enthusiasm. So it feels almost like a lethargic energy. And the crazy thing is, it's like the page of cups and the page of wands both energies of like bad news as well so hopefully there is no bad news coming up for you but hopefully you can get through this energy of feeling lack okay and not afraid to explore um what's what's up next for you four of pentacles and the four of wands so we have two number fours that equals a number eight so number eight is connected with wealth and abundance, but it makes me feel like you guys are needing to find some balance in some sort of way because I'm feeling a scattered energy like you may have been all over the place. Not sure what you want to do and you just kind of been stuck for some of you. Some of you may be spending your money on all kind of things, spending your money on different courses, spending your money on people like it almost feels like you guys have been splurging in a way, but I feel like an energy of depletion now, okay, that's coming up for you. Four of Wands. So some of you may have had some bad luck <laughs> when it comes to, you know, building a family or, you know, your relationship in general. Four of Wands. This is about a marriage for some of you. But some of you have, I don't know, been in this position where you're kind of like all play, no work. I don't know how it's showing up for you. But it definitely feels like some of you may need to take a step back and do a little bit of saving and cut down on some of the things that you're spending on. And maybe some of you are spending a lot of money into um, a wedding for some of you as well. But it definitely feels like um, it, it feels like a a down and out kind of energy that I'm that I'm getting from this overall. OK, and I know this is an opportunity for you to love on yourself. But this is probably why you have that guardian, someone, mother, grandmother, or someone of a mother, motherly like figure that is sort of watching over you because it feels like you need a little extra push, a little extra nudge, a little extra love, something so that you make the right decisions moving forward. OK, because I feel like some of you have not really been in, your, in a right frame of mind where you're just kind of just been going. You've been just existing in order to sort of get by. So that's what I'm feeling for you overall is that you made that feeling of lethargy or, you know, may continue on during this month. But you're going to have to sit down and get with yourself to see um, where it is that you're feeling blocked. OK, and some of you is uh, definitely that having a creative block is is really big because we find ourselves in this position where we just don't know what to do next. And I feel like that's what's happening for some of you. An obstacle or challenge that may come up for you, the Page of Swords. All right, so um, 
this it's crazy because I'm I keep seeing double time bad news curiosity okay don't know how that's showing up for you but I definitely feel like I don't know I'm feeling like some of you may or may need to or or have to talk your way out of a situation I don't know let me pull some cards around this okay I'm getting Aquarius energy Pisces we have the three of swords and then the two of cups so this is revolved around some sort of relationship that um, I'm feeling that you may find your backs up against the wall in some way um, there's a little bit of heartbreak when it comes between when it turn when it's it's between you and someone else I feel like you two are not you're not seeing eye to eye on something and that's what it feels like although these two are looking eye to eye I'm feeling an energy of you're not I feel like there may be some pretending going on. There may be some let me let me just get by and make you feel good for a second because I'm in your presence, but I'm doing something else behind your back. That's what I'm feeling from this obstacle, um, from this page of swords. That you know something something comes up, something comes up that you're faced with during this time, Leo. And some of you may be reluctant to speak to tell how you really feel about something you may not be as talkative as you normally are in the situation and I don't know if some of you are hiding something or someone else is hiding something so Pisces energy is here we have Aquarius energy here this could show up as anyone but I definitely feel like someone's not on the same page and I feel like this it almost feels like a sneaky energy like the seven of swords like something sneaky happening so that may be an obstacle that some of you are facing I also feel this is why spirit is saying the gut feeling if you're seeing 0440 or 440 okay the gut feeling using your intuition and this is about betrayal and pessimism here okay um, so really tap into the opportunity to um, get the insights because if you're seeing the number 0440, this is saying that you have an increased perception, okay? Loving yourself is most important, okay? So some of you may be facing a little bit of heartbreak when it comes to a situation or a conversation that you're having with someone, um, but trust your gut instinct, okay? Ah, I didn't want to hear that for you or feel that for you, Leo. Where you're headed is the Five of Swords, okay? So the Five of Swords is coming out again. So for some of you, this is going to be a battle. This is going to be a battle between you and someone or multiple multiple people. You may feel humiliated, defeated in some sort of way. I hear somebody's trash talking. You're frustrated. You're going to be, this is lost. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to put it out there like you're going to be. This is just the energy that I'm feeling or feeling from the card. But let me pull some cards around this. Again, more Aquarius energy here. Gemini, Libra. So we have the tower. Ah, we have the, oh God. Okay, the tower and the seven of pinnacles that's coming out for you. Okay, so definitely a, a battle or defeat. It feels like something is unfair, unjust. And it again, like I said, someone is saying something in your face, doing something else behind your back with that obstacle challenge that we we talked about and it, it definitely feels like it may be something that it's not even worth fighting for um, I'm feeling that for some of you that's not everyone okay I'm not just saying just give up because Jay said give up I'm not telling you to give up but it may just be one of these patterns okay the tower here a whole cycle um, that keeps repeating and you have to make a decision on what your next step is Leo and this could be someone doing this to you this could even be someone in your environment this may not even be happening to you per se but maybe someone close to you so that tower is some of you may be relocating moving out there could just be a lot of chaos that is going on and it things just happen suddenly and I feel like some of you have been trying to work at it but it's just not working okay because it definitely feels like two-faced kind of energy going on that I'm feeling here is where you're headed what's coming towards you the five of wands this is insane this is insane Leo okay your energy here this is insane how we go from the five of swords to the five of wands there's a lot of thoughts a lot of talking there's a lot of emotions that are involved in whatever this is so it definitely feels like for sure a battle a clash 
lots of chaos. I don't know if people are jealous of you because of you know you're coming into something. Things are changing for 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 you, and people are sort of pulling you back into this ring of fire, this circle that you know that you're not supposed to be in. Again, use your gut feeling, okay? Um, but it definitely feels like there's a lack of unity here, and there is no there is no team there's no no team spirit going on here okay so let me see what's coming up why is the five of wands here now the six of pentacles is coming out we just had the seven so it makes me feel like it's like going like you give a little somebody takes a lot okay especially when it comes to your love leah it feels like some of you are really generous or someone is pouring into you but i i feel like some of you may have a situation where someone is pouring into you and you may be doing something very sly or this could be your person on the side. But there, this is overwhelming. There's a lot of emotions involved and I feel like it's on both ends, whether it's you and one person or you and multiple people. If this may even be, re be revolved around family, money. This could even be um, in your work environment as well. But there's a lot that is happening here that's coming towards you and it feels uncomfortable because it's like you're constantly having to defend yourself. You're constantly in this fire with these other people and it feels like, you know, it's it's almost like your your circle has turned into a cage. Okay, so that energy could be coming towards you. And I hope it doesn't resonate for you guys. But some of you may be going through this. It's just life. We all go through it at some point. Um, so some of you um, are experiencing this currently or could be experiencing this in the near future. And speaking of the near future, we have the Knight of Swords. So a lot of communications going on here. I feel like um, this is you sort of... I don't know if if this is someone coming towards you, the Knight of Swords, someone who is very forceful and just kind of shutting it down, or if this is the energy that you're embodying. But this Knight of Swords is someone who is very argumentative, argumentative, um, and so I don't know if some, like somebody's taking sides and you're just you're excluded from something. Uh, lots of emotions coming up. Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? We have, the, you got to be kidding me. We have the five of wands coming out again, clarifying. Oh, well, the five of wands, we just, that's what's, what's, um, what was coming towards you. And then the eight of pentacles. We already had the seven of pentacles, six of pentacles. So some of you are dealing with an earth sign here or an air sign. Okay. It could even be water as well, but that is very prevalent. Air and, uh, air and earth are very prevalent in this. Okay. So again it's continuous it's a continuous battle whatever i don't know what this is that you're going through here and, and for some of you this may be a divorce i know we said filing papers but this is definitely a relationship some sort of battle that you're going through with someone or multiple people like i've said i don't know what else to say about this for sure i'm i'm here i'm hearing for you to um, it's almost like put a nail in the coffin. So you're going to have to eventually shut this down, whatever this is, because it feels like it's going to continue going back and forth with you and someone or you and something. So it's almost like you have to shut it down. You have to accept that you put in the time, energy, the effort. You put in all of the love and you just can't do it anymore. Okay, so that's not going to resonate with everyone here. But you have to love yourself first. Remember, we pulled the card bring love into the situation. You have to love yourself first and you will persevere through whatever this is. The self-love and setting your boundaries are most important here. Okay, so there's something that you're needing that you're not getting from someone or a circle and it's time for you to let it go and move on. Okay, and you have to also change, you have to reflect so that you can change your, your, per, your perspective about what's happening here because I don't feel like this situation is going to get any better. It definitely feels like it's also unhealthy. And this doesn't mean that maybe down the road you can't reestablish a relationship with whoever this person is or whoever these people are. But right now, it's time to let that go. We have, as your advice, the temperance. It's time for you to move on and to pour into yourself, okay? Some of you are needing to reconcile with yourself, okay? For sure. There's and some of you again, I'm feeling we pull remember we pulled this card, the forgiving and learning. Some of you need to forgive whomever we're talking about here as well 
that is part of your learning process so that you can move on from this and feel a sense of peace, balance, and harmony. You can heal yourself, okay? So um, let me pull some cards around this because this can be a new opportunity, a new beginning for you to create and structure a foundation, which we talked about earlier. Um, I'm hearing you gotta pull you gotta pull some energy. You gotta pull some energy from somewhere here, Leo, because I don't know what's happening here. We have the two of swords and the devil. Like some, someone is you're blinded, tempted by something. I don't know if this is you or your person, but there's a lot going on. It feels like a mystery. <laughs> it feels like a mystery. It's probably not a mystery for you, but it's a mystery for me because I feel like I'm tapped into different energies and there's so many different scenarios that are occurring right now in this energy. Okay. So your 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 advice is to not not be in this place of being feeling like you're stuck with something or or stuck in a job or stuck with a person or stuck in general that you're tied to something like she's blinded she's chained like this does not feel healthy it feels like something is toxic and spirit is asking you to reconcile with the feelings forgive this situation and to let this go. Okay, and for some of you, you are physically letting go, like moving out, like letting someone go about you go your separate ways for someone um, from someone. And for others of you, this is that subconscious energy that you may be tied to that is time for you to let that go because it may be getting you in a world of trouble that you continue this cycle, these patterns, and you keep choosing the same peoples that may feel toxic at toxic at some some point. I feel like they're charming and loving in the beginning and then it turns into something. But I feel like you are getting the red flags right away. Whatever this is here, Leo. Okay, there's a lot going on. Capricorn energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So your advice is to let it go, to become more aware of it, develop your or change your perspective about the situation, whatever that is. But some of you are needing to walk away from something because it feels like it's not going to change. You're bounded by something or someone and it does not feel like it's going to change right now. It's a lot of intensity, a lot of back and forth. Arguing could be even violence for some of you, um, but there's a lot going on. Your final outcome here is the King of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> Gemini Libra energy here. So this makes me feel like the King of Swords where everything that you are going through, like you have to embody this energy. And it's maybe for some of you, this is someone helping you in a situation, someone who is rational, clear minded. This could even be a counselor for some of you, helping you through some of these situations that you're finding yourself in. But this is about fairness and justice, being ethical as well. Okay, so this is someone who's going to take action. So it could be you embodying this king of swords of taking action. The hermit came out reversed, and then we have the four of cups. I feel like you have been getting signs, symbols, all kind of things from the universe. And some of you have been reluctant to see them or wanting to see them. But I do feel like the hermit, as it's in reverse, it's normally, uh, this as it's upright, is going into its solitude and introspection. I feel like you're coming out of that. So you're going to be in a place where you begin to understand. And maybe it is because this person, okay, there could be a person that could be helping you through this. And like I said, this could be a professional. For some of you, this is going to be a judge. Okay, so if you are getting a divorce, yes, this judge is going to make things happen for you and make sure that everything is fair uh, on both ends. Okay, so I definitely feel like you'll have the opportunity to leave behind the things. And don't try to prolong this here, Leo, <clears throat> by trying to drag it out because you want more of something. Take what spirit is giving you. Okay, let me pull my card on that. You'll be fulfilled. Okay, the nine of cups so whatever it is that you have been hoping for and whatever situation this is, you can get it. So that lets me know that you have the ability to manifest what it is that you want, but also make sure that you're not manifesting what you don't want. Okay, so this is all about changing the perspective and also listening to your gut feeling. That's going to be very important through this process that some of you are going through because it feels tumultuous. It feels like for some of you, it may even be a spiritual awakening phase that you're going through where you may even be, you know, in spiritual warfare in some sort of way, battling your physical body and your spiritual body. 
um, and not sure and, and just feeling stuck, okay, which is why it's easy for that the, the devilish energy to, to creep in, right? Okay, so make sure that you are really taking care of yourself and focusing on self-love, elevating your frequency so that you can manifest the things that you want. But I do feel eventually you're going to be coming out of something, okay? Coming out of something, feeling renewed and happier, okay? That was a mouthful, and I'm going to have to shut that down now here, <laughs> Leo, because that is a lot that some of you are experiencing. But if any of this resonates with you and you're happy to share, please do so. Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Share this with your family and friends. Like this video. Subscribe and make sure you hit the all notification bell. Try to enjoy your month. I know it feels like a lot for some of you. And for those of you who are not going through this, kudos to you. Enjoy yourself, okay? Leo, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the month. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.